Oh yeah, let me talk about one thing I wanted to mention as well, actually, as well. So, obviously, you lot have heard me talk about the pullback and stuff like that. Now, obviously, I've not made up this. I never invented the term the pullback, can it? It's like when a woman pulls back. Like, so if you've ever had a girlfriend, if she's ever like maybe gone a bit quiet on you or not messaged you for a couple of days, and you're thinking, oh, what's what going for in it? But you don't want to message her first one in it. That's basically called the that's basically called the pullback, can it? It's a it's a sometimes women do it deliberately but it's, it reveals a lot about a guy right now basically if anyone has spoken to any girls before if you have not done it before which i'll say I, i've done it yeah i'll say most of us have probably done it before you would have spoken to a girl who's told you about a guy who's done it right a girl has not this ain't even a fucking pullback fucking hell five hours six hours right but anyway let's just use this for an example quickly a girl hasn't responded to a guy's text in five or six hours. Then he starts blowing up her phone. Why have you not answered my texts? Whatever. Really? Or a girl disappears on a guy for a couple of days and he starts blowing her up. Like, well, I'll go on for you, man. Like, yeah, I've called you a couple of times. You ain't answered my call. Whatever. Really? Yeah, that could be a genuine reason or it could be a pullback or whatever. Really? A lot of guys turn mad when a girl pulls back from them. Yeah? So you've got two sides to it, yeah? If a girl pulls back, yeah, a lot of guys turn into maniac mode, yeah? So it's usually maniac mode from the beginning, right? So when a guy initially knows a girl, initially meets a girl, if she pulls back from him, like, she don't answer his text deliberately. She reads his text but don't respond back to his text for five, six hours or whatever, and she's read the text and not responded back to it, right? Or she deliberately doesn't text him for two or three days to see how he responds or whatever, innit? Yeah? A lot of, some guys go into maniac mode, yeah? Like, I've done it before. Um, this was years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, this fucking claimer, yeah, years ago. Um, one girl, I think, yeah, I must have called her and I spoke to her. And then I said to her, oh, um, yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. Tomorrow came, I called her, and she didn't answer my call. And then I think the next day I called her up and I was like, why didn't you not answer my, my, my call, wasn't it? Like, why are you being disrespectful or whatever? Why are you not returning my call? I find it disrespectful, wasn't it? Yeah, like, that kind of shit, yeah. That's basically like maniac mode, isn't it? Yeah. I've had girls tell me that, um, yeah, guys have done similar bullshit like that, and they're saying, "Oh, why are you not phoning me back after five hours or whatever?" Isn't it? Yeah. I was worried about you and some kind of madness like that. So that's that's one of the ways. So you get the maniac mode, and then the second way, which I'm going to come on to now, is the weak mode. Yeah, as I've said in previous videos, if you want to test the strength of a man. Make his girlfriend pull away from him. Make his girlfriend tell him, I'm breaking up with you. Yeah, I'm going to go and find someone else. Now, she be chatting shit. But she could say, I'm breaking up with you. I'm going to go and find someone else. Yeah? For the first day or two, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Three days going by. Four days going by. Five days going by. You think it's yourself. Bah. Is she on the back of a man's motorbike? Is she out on the next date with the next man? Like... Man's thinking about all these different things there, yeah, like this girl might be doing when she's not with him. But really, true, this girl's probably just at her yard. Yeah, she's gone to work, done the normal thing, probably chatting to her friends on the phone. Maybe just gone out of her friends, whatever. Isn't it? Yeah. But in a guy's mind, and girls think like this as well. But in a guy's mind, he's thinking about all the guys that this girl must be chatting to. Yeah. Oh, is she out on a date? Is she doing? Is she doing? That? How many men's numbers has she got? Or whatever. Isn't it? A lot of guys, right? This is how women get the power as well. A lot of guys, they crumble. Right? They get weak. Yeah? They go into chase mode, go into panic mode. Yeah? They start blowing up the girl or whatever, innit? Yeah? Now, a few things can happen from this. Yeah? If it's like a feminine woman, yeah? a woman that doesn't want to be the leader in a relationship, yeah? If a feminine woman will do the, does the pullback, right, and the guy starts acting weak, because remember, women are attracted to masculinity and strength, yeah? They're attracted to mo emotional strength, yeah? Someone who can hold it together during dark times and rough times, yeah? Remember that dark and rough times are going to come back to that in a second. Yeah? So feminine women are attracted to masculinity, yeah? So when a guy loses his masculinity, he loses that strength, acts weak, more than likely, a feminine woman will just lose attraction for him. I want to go and maybe find someone else. 
Now, if it's a masculine woman, a woman who, like you can have women who are feminine with certain men, right? But they're still masculine with other men. So they got that two sides to them, right? A, a woman who's quite feminine, but also masculine at the same time, if, if, if given the opportunity, she'll try and emasculate that man and try and take over the relationship and try and be the alpha, yeah? Remember I've said in previous videos, yeah? Someone gotta be the alpha, someone gotta be the leader, someone gotta be the man, and it ain't got nothing to do with what's in between your legs, yeah? In that relationship, there's one man and one woman, and it's irrespective, irrelevant, yeah, to your gender, yeah? There's plenty of relationships you see right now, yeah? Heterosexual relationships, one man, one woman together, yeah? One of them is the man, and it ain't necessarily the one with whatever in between their legs, yeah? Someone is the woman, it ain't the one who's necessarily got breasts, yeah? Someone's in a leadership position, yeah? And it ain't necessarily always the man, yeah? So when a woman has that masculine energy about her, right, she will try and take over the relationship in it and emasculate the man. Now, remember I said earlier, yeah, dark times. I went to my mum's house on Thursday, Saturday to Saturday. She told me about our little cousin. Yeah, little cousin's like 11 years old. Remember I said, right, when a woman pulls away from a man, right, it tests his strength emotionally. Yeah. She's basically, remember I said in previous video, she's basically simulating if the house was to burn down and this guy lost everything, how would he cope with it? Yeah? Just remember that. If he lost everything, how would he cope with it? My little cousin has a friend in school. The friend is a little girl. The little girl's mom died. I think she died of cancer. So the little girl just has her father. Do you know what her father did? He killed himself. He committed suicide. I said to my mom, well, obviously it was probably because he was feeling weak because his wife is dead now. And she said, yeah, probably. Let's just assume, cause I'll put strong money on it, it was because his wife died and now he felt alone. Mm -hmm. First of all, he is a fucking pussy. You got a daughter, yeah, who's lost her mum. She's dependent on her father now, yeah. Oh, she only got one parent out of two. She's dependent on her father and you bail out on her. Where she needs you the most. Your daughter, you know. Not some girl you're dealing with, you know. Your daughter. Imagine that. Imagine, imagine being a father and you barely, you basically just abandoned your daughter. You may as well have just kicked her out of the house and made her an orphan. At a critical moment in her life, right, where she's lost her mum, she's going to be emotional, she's going to be weak. Yeah. You bail out on her because you're not emotionally strong. This is what I'm talking about. This is the shit I'm talking about. This is why women need to pull away from a man and test to see how strong he is. Yeah? I guarantee you, right? I would go to say, right? Because every woman does the pullback. Every woman does it. Yeah? Every woman does it. Yeah? Your guy watching this right now, yeah? Sorry, let me set, set this. Your guy watching this right now, yeah? Think about all the girls that you've spoken to in your life, right? The last three girls, fuck it, yeah? Have any of them ever, like, pulled back? Yeah, any of them ever, like, you know, done some funky bit where they just disappeared for a couple of days or whatever? Yeah? That's a pullback. One second, let me just take, check this. Yeah. So, all of them, all, all girls do the pullback, yeah? It might be for a day. It might be for six hours, it might be for six days, it might be for three or four weeks or whatever, innit? Yeah. Now, a lot of the time, arguments cause the pullback or whatever, innit? Yeah. But every woman does the pullback. Now, I guarantee you, yeah, this guy, his missus pulled back from him, yeah, probably before she had a child with this man, right? Because women pull back all the time, yeah, it's a periodic thing, yeah? She probably pulled back from him, yeah, before they had this child, but she probably was a woman who was in a masculine energy, so she didn't get rid of him and find a stronger, an emotionally stronger man. She probably, maybe, I don't want to say emasculated, but yeah, maybe emasculated, maybe took the leadership role in the relationship, and she didn't get rid of him. So 
So she was the alpha, he was the beta, basically, isn't it? Yeah, if to put it in terms, isn't it? Yeah. She was the alpha, whatever, isn't it? Yeah. But she died. She died. Yeah. And now the beta is in control, the weak individual is in control, yeah, supposed to be in control, and then he takes his life. Well, go on. Yes, Nadia. All right, so listen, yeah, Nadia. So basically, I was talking about the pullback, and I was saying, obviously, um, women pull back, right, to test the man of a, uh, the strength of a man, yeah, whether it's consciously or subconsciously, whatever. Isn't it? Now, obviously, you know, I always like to talk about the pullback over because I find it interesting, whatever the concept behind it. Yeah? So basically, I've got a little cousin. She's 11 years old. She has a friend who's also a girl, and her mum died, I think, of cancer. And sometime later, I don't know, a month or whatever later, her dad has killed himself. Yeah. Now, my mum and I assumed that he killed himself because he couldn't cope with the stress of losing his wife, Yeah. because he's weak. Yeah. He's a fucking pussy. Yeah. His daughter needed him, and he bailed out on her. Yeah. Now, obviously... The mum could have, you know, found out this this weakness in him. She could have exposed the weakness in him years ago. Yeah? But what she probably did was she probably took advantage of that weakness yeah? and maybe emasculated him and she was running the relationship, hence why he was still around. If she had got rid of him, yeah, obviously they wouldn't have that child, but at least then she wouldn't be leaving this earth with a child that has a fa no father to look after him. So basically the pullback is to basically reveal a man's strength Reveal man's weakness. Can he cope on his own during hard times? You know, what 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 more time what um what's more difficult than losing your wife? Yeah? I think she died died of cancer. What's more difficult than losing your wife? So this is what I mean. That's why when I've said in the past, when women do the pullback and quote unquote break up with a man, say, yeah, I'm gonna go and find a new man or whatever. That's simulating a breakup. That's simulating hard times. That's simulating a man losing everything that he quote unquote cares about. How are you going to cope with life if you lose everything? Can you keep it together? Really and truly, she should have got rid of him from day one and not even had the fucking picnic with the man anyway. Yeah. At least then it won't be a little child walking around without a father now, without a mum and a father. You joker. <laughs> what about me flipping tidying up the the drying rack but yeah the pullback is a serious thing yeah you, you yeah you learn a, yeah you learn a lot about your fucking self yeah when you when your girl pulls back from you trust me trust me trust me but this is why women need to um, test the strength of a man. Yeah? Find out. Is he emotionally strong? If he lost everything that was important to him, yeah? because let's face it, most of us, you know, most men, their girlfriends are important to them. Yeah? So how would he react? How would he cope with losing something important? Is he going to be able to stand firm yeah? and hold his position or is he going to quiver like a little pussy -o in the corner? woman needs to know how is he going to be able to cope with hard times adversity can he overcome adversity is he a fucking man and the question is no he's not that guy is a fucking coward that's like that's like my parents passing away and then my little sister's depending on me so I go and cut my throat and hang myself I'd be a fucking coward I'd be a pussy up I've got a child yeah not an 18 year old, not a 25 year old, not even a 16 year old, an 11 year old. The U ain't even touched secondary school yet. The U is about to touch secondary school. Don't know nothing, you know. And the one person, remember, that's supposed to be there through thick and thin, you know, like, yeah, that's supposed to be, yeah, like, quote unquote, made of metal, made of, made of yeah, made of iron, yeah. Nothing can, yeah. And that's supposed to be that person that, yeah, come sit on my lap and tell me about your, the problems that you're having. I'll give you some good advice. And he's pushed on his side of the jacket because he can't deal with the fact that his wife's not around no more. 
Yeah, I get it. Yeah, your wife's dead. I get it. Yeah, it must be fucking painful, yeah, to no say that that side of the bed is cold and that. But now your daughter ain't got nobody now. Fuck the aunties and grandma and all that, yeah. She needs her parents, yeah. She needs her dad. And this guy's taking his life all because his wife is dead. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a minor, but it's not worth taking your life and abandoning your daughter. Yeah. That's the worst thing. How can you abandon your own child? That man said, you think I can ever abandon Janae? My, my sister? No way. Like, I already told my mom already. I told my mom I said that this already. They know this. Yeah? If anything happens to my sister, I'm taking her on. Yeah? And they know. They, that, they, they know it goes without saying. They know I would take my little sister on. I look at my little sister like she's my own. Literally. I will die for my little sister, innit? Yeah. No problem. I won't even think twice. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, if there's a fucking 100 gorillas about to surround my sister, I don't care the pack of wool, I don't care if someone's got a gun, I will die for my little sister, innit? Yeah. Like, that is my sister, innit? So, if anything happens to my, my parents, my mum, my stepfather, they already know this. I'm taking away. I'm not really relying on no auntie, no grandma, no. No one is looking after my little sister apart from me. Yeah? That's why I'm glad I got this house. So if anything happened to her, like if my parents' house was to burn down or whatever, innit, yeah? my little sister, come stay here. Come stay here. Yeah? There's schools up the road, whatever, or God forbid they, they pass, whatever. Yeah, my little sister, come stay with me. I'll adopt my, my little sister. Yeah? I wouldn't need to go that far, but yeah. I think I'd ever bail out of my little sister. Nah, man, you you, you got to be strong for, for 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 the miners around you, man. But you know what? Yeah, harsh reality is that little girl's probably better off without that dad. You know, like a man like that, he can't teach her nothing. I don't know what the the ethnicity of this this uh, this man is, but you know, fathers who have that mentality. That's what I'm saying, man. Them. Black man, them need to stop this mentality, this victim mentality. Yeah, like, oh, because we're black, we have it twice on and shit like that. So what? Overcome adversity. So you're not going to enter a competition just because you know that you're at a little bit of a disadvantage? If it's, if it's even true, I don't think it's true. But let's say it's true. You're not gonna wanna still make a move and start just because you know you're in a deficit. I don't give a fuck what the odds are. If, if someone said to me, Jay, there's a 99% chance you're gonna fail in life, yeah? Just be a worker or whatever in it, yeah? I'll still think to myself, there's that 1% chance. And I'll go for it. I'll go for it. Like that's irrespective of colour or anything like that. They just talk about me. Yeah? There's a 99% chance you're gonna fail in life. You're just gonna be an average nine to five work, nine to five worker. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, yes, people. If you are just an average nine to five worker, you failed. Yeah. See, look, the fuck here, the viewers are gone. I lost two viewers because of that statement. Oh, if you are an average nine to five worker, you have failed. No one is put on this earth to work for a next man. No. No. No way. We're, we're here to all, we've all got leadership in our in us. We've all got a gift, we've all got a talent, we've all got a skill. But I know what side of the fence I'm on. I'm on the leadership side of the fence. I'm, yeah, man who's going places. Fight or flight, come on. Come on, Shan, come on. Fight or flight, man. Come on, man. Like, 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 even that situation there as well, yeah, where the guy has, um, the guy's committed suicide because his wife died or whatever. Isn't it? That's the type of guy, right? Who would probably, and no one could even disagree with me. No one could even disagree with me. That's the type of guy, right? He could be upstairs with his wife and child, yeah? 
and no, sorry, he could be he could be in the house, yeah, and no say that his ch- his wife and his child are downstairs, and some madmen come break in the yard or whatever, yeah. And he'll probably climb out a fucking window and then run down the road or whatever, and yeah, and and, and abandon them. No one can ever argue with me and say that no, in that situation, that guy wouldn't abandon them because when his daughter needed him, he abandoned her. Yeah, he's probably the same type of person who, you know, that video where. The fucking the child, the little black kid fell into the the gorilla's cage or whatever, and the mum standing up with the rest of the spectators. Oh, mommy's here with you. No, mommy should be down there. What? You're scared to die for your child. Really? Like so? If your child fell in a gorilla's cage or whatever, you're telling me that you're gonna stand up and be a spectator and possibly witness your child getting killed by a gorilla. You're not willing to jump into that, somehow climb down wherever in it, yeah, get into the gorilla's cage and even get murdered for your child. I will. I will not be able to live with myself. I will not be able to sleep at night knowing that my child was killed by an animal and I witnessed my child being killed by an animal because I was scared. Like People, we need to develop honour yeah you're not willing to die for your honor i am definitely